Hello, sports fans and football fans out there. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. And today I'm going with the hatless look because I just got a haircut and I'm looking good. Okay, really, truthfully, I look like almost exactly like my father, which is generally not looking good. But um, anyway, I digress. We are here with the week three picks. This week we will be talking about what happened in week two a little bit. And we will also be discussing the week ahead, week three. So last week I was 11 and 5. Very good week for me. Much better than the 9 and 7 that I was in week 1. Which, if you do the math, and I'm not great at math, but I think that makes me 20 and. and what is it? 20 and 12 for the uh, year. Which is an average of 10 and 6. So. Um, there's a lot of math there. Add it up, double check my work. But, uh, you know, uh, that's what we've got. So, we're going into the week three picks with, uh, with pretty good record, pretty good track record for this year so far. Um, and we're going to discuss uh, different games and how the games went in week two as we go. So the first game is going to be the Thursday night game, as it always is, on September 21st. And that is going to be the Giants, who uh, come into the game 1-1 one and one, thanks to a massive comeback that they had against the Cardinals last week. Um, was it the Cardinals? I think it was the Cardinals and uh, the 49ers. The 49ers are at home in this one, and the 49ers, as we all know, are 2-0. and So, uh, as I said, the Giants are 1-1, and and they were down something like 20, I want to say it was like 27-7 to or something to the Cardinals, and they came back and they won that game 31-27. Uh, that was massive. And the uh, 49ers are 2-0. and I don't remember offhand who they beat, but, pff, I mean, it's the 49ers. So, anyway, <laughs> but the 49ers are at home. They're 2-0. and And the Giants lost Saquon Barkley for potentially, like, three weeks. I think he may be out for three weeks. Well, if you're the Giants, follow me on this. And you're not nearly as good as San Francisco. And you're, I'm not even going to say arguably, your best player can't play. Guess what? You're going to lose. I'm taking the 49ers in that game. So uh, my phone is blowing up here. So let me just take care of that. So anyway, uh, we have uh, the Sunday games. The Sunday, September 24th games. The first one of those is the 2-0, and the surprisingly 2-0 and Falcons at the 1-1 and Lions. Now this game is in Detroit. I know the Falcons are 2-0, and but the Falcons had to win. I believe last week I think there was two overtime games. And I think that the Falcons were involved in one of them. And they barely they barely came back and won that game. Um, so, uh, and the Lions are 1-1. One and, one, and this, uh, this past week they lost, I'm going to say to Kansas City. Yeah, they lost to Kansas City, which is kind of expected, I suppose. You would say that that would be expected. Uh, but, anyway, the long story short is I'm going with the Lions in this one. Uh, take the Lions over the Falcons. I like the Falcons. I like what they're doing. And uh, they um, definitely, my phone is just going crazy here. But anyway, um, I like the... Uh, I like I like what the Falcons are doing this week, but we're gonna go with the uh, Lions in that one. The next game you got the 0-2 Chargers visiting 
the 0-2 Minnesota Vikings. So the uh, 0-2 Minnesota Vikings at home. Um, now the the Vikings, they've mostly shot themselves in the foot a few times in their in their two losses, and like I said last year, they got 11. I think there was like 11 games where they made some kind of a massive comeback and ended up winning the game by a point or two. So that's not really a sustainable thing, particularly not for Minnesota. The Chargers are 0 2. They've lost two tough games. One of them, I think, was in overtime. I think they were one of the overtime. They were the uh, one of the overtime losses this week uh, because their entire game plan in overtime was three long passes that they really was not a great idea, and they ended up losing. Um, so I'm going to go with the Vikings here. The Vikings are at home. They've been kind of shooting themselves in the foot, but they should hang on and beat the Chargers in this one. The Chargers are more talented. They're a more talented team. But there always seems to be something with the Chargers, although really you could say that for Minnesota too. But I'm still going to go with Minnesota. The next game you got is the 2-0 Saints on the road at the 0-1 Pack, the, the Packers. Um, I'm going to go with the, uh, in this one I'm going to go with the Packers, even though the Saints are 2-0. Um, and they have a stifling defense. This was a tough one to pick, but and the only edge that made me go with the Packers is that they're at home. Um, but uh, we'll see. We'll see what happens there. I'm still going to pick them, though. The next one you got is the 0-2 Texans are at the Jags. And the Jags, I think, are 1-1. One one. Um, but they're at home. And uh, they are playing the 0-2 hapless Texans. So uh, this one I'm going to go with the Jags. Let's take the Jags in this one. I like them at home. I like what they're doing. They should be a decent team this year, a good team in the AFC South. Moving right along, you got the 0-2 Broncos on the road at the 2-0 Dolphins. And, um, yeah, I mean... I'm not going to leave you in suspense on this one. I'm going with the Dolphins at home. This is their first home game. They're 2-0. They haven't even played at home yet. And the Broncos, last week they lost to Washington in a game that they should have won. I mean, they were up like 20 to, something like 20 to 14 at halftime. And they were, even before that, they were up 20 to 7 I think they got off to a 20. I don't know if it was 20 nothing. I don't know if they got off to a 20 to nothing uh, lead at one point, but they were definitely up 20 to 7. Um, I think at one point, 20 to 14 at the half, and then they just crumbled in the second half. Um, next one you got is the one and one Titans at the one and one Browns. The Browns at home. Now uh, the Browns are only one and one because. The Steelers got two defensive touchdowns on them on Monday Night Football and had an unlikely win. I mean, I think the the Steelers, I think, had like negative seven total yards for the game going into the fourth quarter in that one. But because they had a pick six and a scoop and score, they ended up winning the game. Um, teams aren't going to do that too often to the, to the Browns. They have a good defense. Um, and... Um, yeah, so, uh, and the Titans, you know, the Titans won in overtime against the Chargers, but again, it was because the Chargers were stupid, mainly. Um, I don't think the Chargers are even, I, or I don't think the Titans are even as talented as the Browns, certainly not defensively. Um, so I'm going to go with the Browns at home in that one. Next one you got is the one and one Bills on the road at the two and O Commanders. Don't let that two and O for the Commanders fool you. They're not that good, um, and they're in Washington at home. But I am still going to go with the Bills here. The Bills had a convincing win last last week in Week Two. They scored thirty eight points um, after they you know were brought back to reality in that opening week loss against the Jets. So I am going to say, yeah, the Bills on the road in that one. Next one you got is the one and one Colts at the two and zero Ravens. Now I think that the Colts rookie quarterback is out. 
I think he's out with a concussion or something. Something happened to him. Um, he was playing well, too. It's too bad. And they got their star running back um, holding out. So, um, and the Ravens are 2-0. and I mean, you know, and it's in Baltimore. So, yeah, let's go with the Ravens there. Uh, the next one is the 0-2 Patriots. And they're on the road against the 1-1 uh, Jets. And, um, hmm. You know what? This was a t- this was another tough one. I'm gonna go with the Patriots only because Bill Belichick is not. I mean, he can't afford to allow his team to go 0 and three and um, and and lose to uh, lose a second game to a division opponent. He, I mean, he just can't afford that. And so we're just gonna say he's gonna will the Patriots somehow to win on the road against that Jets defense. Because, yes, they have Zach Wilson at quarterback and not Aaron Rodgers, but they still have a good defense and they still have other weapons. So I'm not saying that the Jets are, you know, hapless going into this thing. They can definitely win. I probably really should be picking them, but it's just a gut feeling I have that the Patriots are going to pull this one out and win it. Next one you got is the 0-2 Panthers at... The one and one Seattle Seahawks. You got the twelfth man going to visit a team with the twelfth man. Anytime you got to te- go up against a team's got a twelfth man and you only got eleven, you're in trouble. No, uh, really, <laughs> the Seahawks. <laughs> but the Seahawks are better than the Panthers. Um, their young quarterback Bryce Young, the guy, does not look very good yet. He's small in stature. Um, he's not really built. Um, and he really looked overmatched against the Saints defense last week, and I expect that to continue for a little while until he gets his feet under him. So we're going to definitely go with the Seahawks at home in that one. Uh, The next one is my 0-2 Bears, and they're taking on the Chiefs in Kansas City. (laughs) Yeah. Uh, Now, I will say about the Chiefs, their offense has looked pretty... um, I'm going to say bad so far. And last week they had Kelsey, so that wasn't an excuse for them. Uh, Their offense really looks lackluster, but really so does the Bears, and the Bears' defense looks lackluster as well. That is not the case for Kansas City's defense, which looks very good. So we're going to take uh, Kansas City for sure. I mean, if there's any lock that you want to take to the bank, take this one to the bank, Kansas City over the Bears at home in Kansas City. Um, the next one is the 2-0 and Cowboys at the 0-2 Cardinals. This is the second lock. <laughs> Two in a row. If uh, I mean, the Cowboys are just, they're hitting on all cylinders. And the Cardinals let one get, first of all, the Cardinals should have, or could have, I, I'm not going to say should have, but they could have beaten the Commanders in Week 1. And they should have beaten the the Giants last this past week. I mean, they had a commanding lead on the Giants, and they just let them come back in an inexplicable way. I mean, it's the Giants. It's not like they went up against the Kansas City offense that was hitting on all cylinders, which it hasn't been yet anyway. But, um, yeah, I, I don't know what happened there. So let's uh, let's go with the Cowboys on the road. Next one you got is the one and one Steelers at the one and one Raiders. Now the Steelers, they're one and one. Week one they got just completely dismantled by San Francisco, and it, this past week they won on Monday Night Football against the Browns because they had two, not one, two defensive touchdowns. Um, so of their 26 points, like half of them were scored by the defense. So that's not really sustainable. Um, and, uh, and then you got the Raiders. The Raiders look pretty good in opening week. Uh, last week, I, I don't recall who they played or how bad or good they looked, but the Raiders are at home in this Las Vegas. I'm going to go with the Raiders. Uh, the last, what, the 8 p.m., the 8.15 game on Sunday night is the uh, 2-0 Eagles at the Buccaneers. Uh, the Buccaneers.
series. I don't even know what their record is. I'm offhand. I don't remember. Maybe they're. I think they're two and zero. They're two and zero as well. Uh, but the um, yeah, let's go with the Eagles. I'm going with the Eagles in this one. Now the Eagles have not looked dominant. They haven't looked as dominant as I think many people expected them to look so far. But you know, as the year goes on, that's going to change, and they will become that way. So. Yeah, I'm going to go with the Eagles on the road. And then you got Monday Night Football. Monday, September 25th, you have the Rams at 1-1 one one going up the against the 0-2 Bengals. Now, if you've been following the injury reports, you know that Burrow re-aggravated his calf injury that he had during the um, preseason, which kept him out. And so um, it's... I don't know, I don't think that the Bengals even know if he's going to play this week. Um, But if he does, he's not going to have his usual mobility. He's not going to be the Joe Burrow that uh, everybody expects. Because the the calf injury is going to be a problem if he plays through it. He can play through it, but if he does, it's going to be an issue for him. And the Bengals, just in general, haven't looked that good so far. The Rams are one and one, and uh, and actually they're surprisingly they look surprisingly good. I did not think I did not expect the Rams to be as good as they have been so far. So I'm going to take the Rams on the road against the Bengals. So those are my picks. What do you guys think? Leave a comment below in the description. Let me know what games you disagree with me on. Let me know what games you agree with or. Just list your picks. Do it however you want to do it. You be you. But that is going to be it for me. Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.